Hey guys, this is Emmy, and today I'm going to be answering your Q&A questions. I would like to apologize in advance if I totally botched your username, so I am so sorry. I'm not good at this. Luigi Silver 818 asks, is there a different video game franchise you like besides Sonic? Oh yeah. I love Animal Crossing more than anything, <laughs> and I also really love Splatoon. I'm also a really big fan of Pokemon, Super Smash Brothers, Harvest Moon, oh, and Kingdom Hearts. <gasps> oh wait, no, no, and Parappa the Rappa. Oh my god. <laughs> I love Parappa the Rappa, guys. My girl Alyssa asks, what was your happy moment in 2016 besides Trump becoming president? Uh, well, Trump becoming president wasn't really a happy moment for me. <laughs> uh. Yikes. Um, but a happy moment for me in 2016. Good lord, I had way too many. Um, you know, I'm just gonna share this one. It was sort of earlier in the year, it was in April, when I actually went out to Japan. And I actually went out there to go see the Sonic Adventure music experience and see a couple friends, go to Tokyo Disney. But the one extremely happy moment that I'll never forget <laughs> is when I was at Joyopolis, or how they actually word it is Joypolis. And, uh, on the second floor, that Sonic statue that everyone sees and has taken pictures with. I remember I was with my good friend Michiyoshi and I go up and he's like, don't freak out. And I'm like, why? Why? Because he knows, he knew I was excited for the statue. And as soon as we go up the second floor, that's the first thing I see. And I just get this really big smile on my face and I run up and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. And like the employees are all staring at me and I'm like hugging this statue because it's like amazing. I'm so excited. And it has like a little button. And if you press it, you can hear Junichi-san speak. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just Joyopolis in general was an extremely happy event for me, just going there and everything. I mean, I got to want- I, I actually won two plushies there. I won a Sonic and a Tails. I won Tails from a basket throw, and I won Sonic from a claw machine there. And I actually ran into the classic Sonic walking around, and it was just a really good day. Labeled Vision asks, what's your favorite Sonic zone of all time? Ooh. See, the thing with this question is that I don't really have, like, an all-time favorite zone. I think I have more like, this is my favorite zone from this game. And I, I guess if I'm going classic-wise, probably Emerald Hill, just because that was my first game. I actually played Sonic 2 before I played Sonic 1, and I just linked that with a lot of memories. But if we're referring to, like, say, my favorite game, Sonic Adventure, I would probably go Emerald Coast because I love the music and I love the overall vibes. Uh, SA2, I'd probably pick Mission Street. Yeah. Wild Wolf 21 asks, If you could see one classic Sega franchise make a comeback outside of Sonic, which one would it be and why? Uh, I would definitely say Knights. I, <laughs> I'm so basic. But uh, I really like Knights, and I, I felt that it had a really good charm. I felt like it had its own Sega charm outside of Sonic. I feel like everyone sort of relies heavily on Sonic to get Sega through, but, but I felt that Knights had its own thing going on, and I, and I think it could do really well if brought back. Sonic Kick asks, why do you not like Chick-fil-A? <sighs> Did Radioactive Raw SNG put you up to this? No, no, no. I actually really like Chick-fil-A. I just like giving Raw a hard time. C.284 asks, how long have you been a fan of Sonic? Uh, I've been a fan of Sonic since I was eight years old. My first game was Sonic 2, like I had said earlier, but um, I think I started getting hooked onto Sonic when Sonic Adventure came out, just because I felt that the characters had a lot more personality, and I really, really grew onto Tails. I, mm, I love him so much. I, I just, I really like the stories, and I felt that it was uh, a lot more complex than what the classics had to offer. That's just me, though. So yeah, I was eight years old, and I've been a fan of it ever since. I think it's Kaukin. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to pronounce this. 1928. I'll put a picture of your user up here. How tall are you and what's your favorite type of cookie? I am 5'3 and chocolate chip. chip Gaming Prophet 00 asks, what's your favorite Sonic the Hedgehog quote? Uh, definitely Sonic X episode 76 where Sonic is talking with Dark Oak. And Dark Oak is telling him, uh, just keep running, you foolish hedgehog. And he responds with, I run home because I know I'm wanted there. Sony asks, bounce pad or spring? <sighs> not, not a bounce pad. Zero's channel asks, 
Who is your favorite sword wielder in video games? A lot of my favorite video game characters are generally sword wielders. Zero, Meta Knight, Lucina, etc. Uh, mine would have to be Sora. <laughs> I'm not really a big fan of sword wheelers, to be completely honest, but Sora is my exception just because I grew up with them. Nadim asks, can you tadank? I can dank. I tadank. Uh, yeah, yeah. Super Sam the Ham asks, what's your first Sonic game and what's your favorite Sonic game? Uh, like I said previously, my first Sonic game was Sonic 2, and my favorite Sonic game is Sonic Adventure 1. I'm sorry, I'm gonna butcher your name so bad. Maybe I'm just gonna put it up on the screen. Uh, who or what inspired you to start singing? That's a really good question, actually. Um, but actually, no specific person really inspired me. Uh, the thing is, I just sang ever since I was a baby, like, ever since I was a little kid. Uh, I don't really remember specifically what inspired me to keep doing it. I just knew that it made me feel really happy, so I just continued doing it. <laughs> this dude asks, Dear Emmy, how about you close your channel and stop being a Sonic fan? No one cares about that cancer series and his upcoming two games are crap and Nintendo is much better. Oh wait, there's more. Then Sega, lol. So how about you answer it? Also, you got an ugly character to see no one cares about you and Sonic will never like you because he us ugly as fuck BT dubs. <laughs> Honestly, same. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Michael asks, what inspires you to be a really good singer? Uh, by the way, I love your covers. Thank you. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you for Sonic Mania, Project 17, well 2017, sorry, and BBFA3? Um, I just really, it's just my goal someday to uh, work with more talented musicians and get out there and potentially work on some video games music-wise. Really would love to do that, so I just keep going, I keep networking, it's what I do. Uh, as for the games, oh my god, uh, 10, 10, 10. I'm looking forward to every single one of them. I think they're going to be fantastic. Sonic Mania is looking beautiful, Sonic 2017 looks promising, and BBFA3 is going to be the dankest meme of all time. Do you think future Sonic games should have a variety of characters to play, or should future Sonic games just be focused on solely Sonic? That's a really good question, because I think that we should have more characters that are playable. Granted, I'm biased, my favorite game is Sonic Adventure, and you could play six different characters, but that's kind of what I miss about Sonic games. I miss playing Tails. I want to fly high, guys. I really miss the treasure hunting stages. I know that's not a popular thing, but I don't know. I thought it was really fun. I miss playing Rouge. I miss playing Shadow. Uh... It'd be really cool to- oh, why- why aren't we playing Cream in a 3D game? That'd be so freaking cool! Also, we should bring back the Chowgirl. Just saying! Fire Rose asks, what's your favorite song and TV show? That's really difficult. I'm really bad at making decisions like this. <laughs> um, because I like uh, a couple different TV shows right now. Right now, that is currently airing. I really like Sophia the First, Elena of Avalor, uh, Sonic Boom, and I also really like New Girl. Uh, song-wise, ooh, that's impossible. Anything from Swing Growers, anything musical theater, any of that would make me happy. GX Blaster asks, do you like to travel around the world? If so, what place would you love to go and see? I do love traveling. You know, I've gotten to do so much of it semi-recently. Like, again, like I was saying previously, I went to Tokyo. Um, and I've been to, I've been, I've been around uh, the U.S. quite a bit. Uh, if there was a place that I'd still really like to go see, I'd of course love to go see Paris or Italy, Germany, places like that. Hawaii, definitely. Oh my god. Brandon Smith asks, who do you like more as the voice of Sonic, Ryan Drummond or Jason Griffith? I personally like Jason more. Okay. Uh, well, for me personally, I have to go with Ryan Drummond. Oh yeah! This is happening! just because uh, that was my favorite version of Sonic growing up, and I felt like he just fit that adventure era so perfectly. Uh, granted, I also like Jason Griffith too. You're making me choose between my children, and that's impossible, but I'm gonna have to go with Ryan on this one. Cherry Candy asks, what are your favorite cartoons besides Sonic, of course? Um, like I said earlier, I really like Sophia the First and Helena of Avalor. I know I'm so embarrassing. <laughs> Steven Fox asks, who is your coolest friend and why is it Steven Nux? Well, if I'm choosing between you and Raw, yeah, it's definitely you, uh, but I don't really know why. You're just kind of here. 
The Littlest Justin asks, Emmy, what is the most underrated Sonic game in your eyes? Sonic and the Secret Rings! <laughs> Son of a gun! Listen guys, I know the controls are shit. I think so too. In fact, I only played a couple levels when I first bought it and I threw it. I was like done with it. But the reason I think it's underrated is because of the story in general. I think the story is really cool. The vibes are really cool. Arabian Nights, that's so cool and well thought out. Had the controls have been any different, I think people would have really liked that game. But unfortunately, due to that one thing, it is now known as one of the crappiest Sonic games ever, and that's so disappointing. Tails the Fox. Oh, hey Tails, what's up? How did you learn how to do Tails impressions? Um, well, <laughs> uh, I guess self-taught. I mean, there's not really a way to learn it besides practicing. Uh, for me in particular, I just, I did like a tomboyish voice for a little while when I was uh, voicing for like Scootaloo and fan projects. And then as I sort of made my transition, I realized that that voice I could also use for Tails. Plus, when I was a little kid, I also had like a little Tails plushie and I would always use like, this general like husky like voice like that and uh, I just developed it over time and got it down. Thanks for asking Tails. Thoughts on film with Film Brony asks, aside from voice acting, do you do any acting for film or television? <laughs> I wish. Maybe someday, guys. Maybe someday. Baby steps. I'm still working my way up here with video games, but uh, I would definitely love to do that. Maybe when I move out to California. Bernie Cliffers asks, are you excited for the Nintendo Switch? And if so, what games? Yes, <laughs> I actually have the Nintendo Switch pre-ordered, and uh, so far with the games announced, I'm definitely looking forward to Splatoon 2, just because I'm a huge Splatoon fan. Um, probably the Mario Kart Deluxe, I'm going to get that right away. Uh, Arms looks pretty nice, the new Zelda game's looking pretty good. Honestly, I'm not disappointed with anything they've announced so far, so I'm definitely going to be getting that right away. Uh, Ken Tato asks, what are your best singing tips? Your voice is amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Um, tips though, I would definitely suggest make, before you get into singing, uh, make sure that you have healthy vocal cords. You never want to sing when you are stuffed up or have like a, you know, stuff in your throat because I actually have allergies and I've learned from experience that that's really hard on your singing voice. Uh, something else I would suggest is singing lessons. I actually just grew up going to choir every single year in high school, middle school, and uh, they actually offered lessons there. I think it's really important to also learn how to read sheet music and recognize notes. All of that stuff is super important when it comes to singing. Good luck. The power, power, power foot, I know who you are. How do you feel about being a meme, your highness? Important question that must be answered. Oh, it feels quite fresh and dank. I think this is Armor. Arm Turbo asks, Emmy, Emmy, are you going to do any Sonic Let's Plays for your channel? Ha! Funny story, I was going to do a Fire and Ice Let's Play, but guess what? It's really difficult to get a hold of a nice capture card. I actually spent $400 for a 3DS that had a built-in capture card. And when recording for Fire and Ice, the frame rate dropped immensely and the footage came up pretty bad. Um... <clears throat> I might do it in the future whenever I get a hold of a nicer capture card, but that's expensive. <laughs> um, but aside from that, I might honestly start uh, Twitch streaming just PC games at the moment. So stay tuned for that. Bendy Penguin 64 asks, who is your biggest inspiration? Well, this is probably not the answer you're looking for, but definitely, you know, my daughter. She's like big inspiration for me. She makes me want to better myself and keep going and moving forward. Also, my friends inspire me to always push myself to be the best that I can be, and I don't know where I'd be without them. Dash to the Max asks, What are you doing hanging with them Sanic nerds? All the cool cats steal ponies. I'm sorry. You know, I love ponies, and I still kind of like ponies, not gonna lie. But I've been a Sonic fan ever since I was a young kid, and it was a lot easier moving on with content that I felt a lot more passion for. I still really like ponies and I still am dying to get a couple covers out uh, from it. So stay tuned, I guess. I'm sorry, I love you. Daniel asks, what is your favorite scene from a Goofy movie? Ugh, 
like the whole movie. <laughs> like, you can't just make me pick a scene. Are you serious? Uh, nah, <sighs> that's actually impossible. Oh my God. I'd have to say it's between the whole standout concert at the beginning of the movie, the scene where Max and Goofy are on the car and they're singing Nobody Else But You because that was such a beautiful scene. You don't really hear a lot of love songs between a father and son. Sonic Solstice, Solstice, okay, asks, I love your work. What inspired you to sing and make your YouTube account? Well, like I had said previously, I just sing because it makes me really happy. And uh, as for the YouTube account, Technically, I've been making YouTube accounts since I was like 11 or 12, whenever YouTube uh, happened. And I just wanted to continue on with making YouTube stuff. Back when I was that young, I was making really, really dorky Sonic AMVs. <laughs> and uh, yeah, don't, don't go looking for them because some of them are still up. Uh, but I just wanted to make another one and focus the channel strictly on my singing and voice acting. If you were forced to which game, which would you play? Sonic 06 or Sonic Genesis on the GBA? Sonic 06, because I don't actually think it's that bad. Except Elise. Galvatrix asks, what other kind of new things would you like to see in Sonic Mania and Sonic Project 2017 this year? Uh, well, for Sonic Mania, I definitely want to see some new stages. Uh, as for 2017, I just want to see more information about the game. That'd be really great. Sir Sonic HD asks, what inspired you to become a voice actress? A couple of people actually kind of asked this, just dancing around that question, I guess. Um, and honestly, what inspired me in particular was just watching certain movies or playing certain video games, certain TV shows. And I always thought to myself as a kid, I want to be a part of this. I want to like make something. I want to be a part of it. I didn't know how I wanted to be a part of it, but I knew I just wanted to be a part of it. And so I danced around different things like, well, I can animate or I could do this or I could do that. But then when I hit high school and I started taking part in color guard and heavier into choir, everything like that, I realized that I'm more of a performer. And so I decided, you know, maybe, maybe acting is, is my thing. And I, I also did a lot of musical theater and I just felt that that was the perfect fit. Julian asks, what's your favorite 3D Sonic game? Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure. I really like Sonic Adventure. Ryan from Twitter asks, what is your favorite anime? Well, you know, I actually am not heavily into anime at the moment, but I guess I really like Osamatsu-san. Uh, that's a really good anime. So it's really cute and <laughs> very adult. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd say that'd be my answer. A beautiful woman named Ceci asks, Why are you so pretty and please marry me? Baby, I thought we were already married. What are you talking about? Thomas the Hedgehog asks, What will be your reaction if Sega or Sonic Team hired you as a voice actress for a character? My life would actually be complete if I were to be honest. Uh, that's actually a dream of mine. Uh, specifically, I would really like to voice uh, Tails officially one day. Um, but if Sega asked me to do any any character, uh, specifically Sonic or non-Sonic, Sega, whatever, my life would be complete. <laughs> I'd be really happy. Mectro asks, Blazer Wave, who would I think you voice? Uh, you know, it's interesting. With these two characters, they have a very low register, and I don't <laughs> have a low register. Uh, so I don't really know. I guess based off of like which character I like more, I'd say Blaze. It's just I don't have like that lower register for them. That's why I do like the cutesy young characters and the young boy characters. 